What is up, my Lumion Legacyans? It is your girl here, Vapor Baby. So I have been given so many questions on to answering how do you tell if a Lumion is very good in PvP? Now, you do need the advanced stat viewer, which is available to purchase within the Lumion store section for 50 Robux. This will allow you to actually check everything within inside of your Lumion so you can see the stats in much more details. Includes the exact number of values for the species base stats, its training points, and unique points. And this is very valuable when it comes to PvP Illumians within the game. So, for example, we're going to take a look at my Geklo, whose name is Little Baba. Uh, you'll be able to tell in this section here in training. Now, this is very confusing at first. If you don't really understand how this works, I'm going to go ahead and explain it. So, you'll be able to tell if your Lumion is good based on the stars. When all of the stars are all five and they're highlighted, that means that is the best stat you can get within that Lumion. So, the maximum you can get in the up area, which translates to IVs, is 40. So, the 40 is definitely something that you want to get as close as possible within the game. Now, I know for a fact that you're not able to breed your own Lumians yet, so you kind of have to like take a risk on catching a bunch of these in hopes that you can get one that is extremely useful in PvP in the future. So, when you pay attention to all of its stats here, you want to also pay attention to the ones that matter the most. So, you're going to take a look at the base stats. Whichever is the highest point value in your Lumion, you want to train it automatically in. So because attack and speed are the highest, those are the ones that you want to IV train. So for every three Lumions that you defeat in battle, it'll give you one attack point or a speed point. You can actually make this process quicker by getting this. These do cost one coin per a training session so this coin will last you 30 minutes and instead of killing three Lumians all you need to do is defeat one and you'll get a point for every single Lumian attack you can get on your get glows or whoever a uh, Lumian that you're trying to train within the game now of course because of the area that I'm farming in its health is going all the way and its speed is going all the way down now, of course, I do wish that my Lumion here had a better IV in speed. So, technically, this is an okay statted Lumion, but it definitely needs a better IV stat in speed. So, it's not going to be as quick as other Geklos that would have one that's, you know, higher than this stat right, right here. So, if one has, like, for example, 28 instead of this 4, that Lumion who's trained in speed will go first in battle automatically. So if you do train these in the correct areas, it is so very detrimental and it is so, so needed in PvP because you will end up being either faster or more powerful than the average Lumion PvP player. So make sure you guys pay attention to your stats and also to your Lumion's ability. So this is a lightning rod Lumion. So it will attract all electric type moves to this Lumion, which absorbs and boosts its uh, special attack. So it's not gonna raise its physical attack, it's going to raise its special attack here. So definitely pay attention to your Lumion's um, top uh, two areas here because you can only technically you always want to train it in two because the better stats that have two the higher it's going to be and the better it's going to be in battle so if you do have the chance to kind of go through stats and moves and stuff make sure you pay attention to this section here these are physical moves these two right here you're going to get an idea of its special attack when it has this right here so yeah this is a basic breakdown of the Lumians and how you can train them better within battle. So hopefully this actually helps you out. You guys can go ahead and leave comments in the comment selection down below on what you guys want a guide towards next. I'm actually pretty non-knowledgeable when it comes to Pokemon and how breeding and just battles go and PvP stats, moves. Uh, just give me an idea and I will go ahead and make a video on it. And 
if you get chosen, you'll be credited in the next video. With that being said, Vapor Baby is out.